In our last demonstration, we finished the magenta and the blue line, the blue spectrum of color across to violet. And in this one, we're going to work from yellow to blue. Now, yellow is our weakest color, and blue is our strongest. So it's really going to go, you know, it's going to be not difficult, but it's going to be a challenge to keep your colors consistent and have them nice and work out well. So, um, like before, make sure your brush is totally clean, totally dried off so there's no water in it because it's temper paint that we're painting with. Um, have a clean fresh cup of water so you can wash your brush out if you need to but I don't from color to color usually. Um, so get some yellow, paint it into the yellow square so we know that's where we're starting. Okay, And then we're going to use a little blob of yellow here into the center and you can notice um, as I'm kind of getting my yellow set up here that I did again save my blue from my last uh, video so that I didn't waste a bunch more blue. Um, the only thing you have to be careful with is that you don't get things contaminated. You don't want, you know, red or violet in there. So just make sure you've got got it, um, you know, clean and, and neat. So here we go. You can see already if I just have that little teeny bit of blue on my brush, um, it changes the color very drastically right away. Um, so I'm going to paint this in and it's a little lime-ish yellow already. It's just a little bit to the green side. Okay, you can see just a little teeny bit of difference. Going to get another, actually you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe my brush out. You can kind of see if I squish my brush, red paint comes out of it. We don't want any red or any other color in your brush. So I'm going to just kind of rewash my brush here. Make sure there's no red paint hiding in, in between the bristles. I must have not done a very good job last time. There we go. Now it's nice and clean. All right, going back to my paint mixing here. Grab a little blue. Okay, you can kind of see that little dab of blue I put on there. I'm going to add some more into it and get a little darker green. And this should be a yellow green, so we actually want to... Ooh, that's almost too much green. Notice how I can add a little bit yellow back in, but you don't want to go too far with the blue or you kind of have to start all over again. So here's my yellow green. And you can see it's a pretty uh, yellowy color. It's green nonetheless. Okay. And what this does for us is this gives us a lot of options in our color mixing. We can basically make any color with the three primary colors as long as we're careful and thoughtful and know which colors we want to mix, um, you can mix pretty much any color. So here's just adding a little bit of more blue in, make it just a little bit darker. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more blue in to get a nice green color and of course <coughs> Just like all the other colors, the green that we mix is much, much, much different than the green we get out of the tube. It's got a different color to it. It's got a different flavor, so to speak, a visual flavor, not tasty flavor. Don't eat your paint, of course. But you can see that different green color there. Um, and if I were to take green straight out of the tube, it's close, but... Um, you know, a little different. I'll put that on right underneath. You can see it's close, but um, it's a little bit richer. It's a different green color. Um, I'm going to continue on with my mixing and make a green that's just a little bit darker than my middle green on my spectrum there. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more blue in to make my blue green. Remember you want to mix it really well. I remember we call blue-green turquoise 
Uh, this is kind of a dark, I mean, this is kind of a different turquoisey color. This is almost like a viridian green. Then I add a little bit more blue in to get a really bluish green. You can almost see the blue in that. Okay. And then I'm going to swipe my brush out all the way and get some pure blue, the last of my blue here. And paint the last of my blue inside my blue square. So it looks like that. So when you're finished, you should have all the spectrums from yellow to red, red to blue, magenta to blue, and yellow to blue. Um, the words up here, the numbers up here, the 50, 50%, 50, 50 yellow, 50 blue, um, should give you green, 75% yellow, 25% green, or blue, really, and then the blue and the green, um, you know, same thing, 25% of the blue and 75% green. So you're going back and forth both ways. I wrote those numbers down just so you had a kind of general idea for how much of which color you should be using, but, you know, it, it's going to change for each person. But this is basically what your... Um, color mixing chart should look like by the end and I will leave it up on the board so that if you need to come and double check your colors you can bring yours up and double check it against mine. Okay and that concludes our color mixing of our intermediate colors.